Welcome back. This is part two of our project crashing example. Uh, let's just get right back to it. All right, so now let's looking at this activity B. Uh, our normal duration was five, so if you want, we can even write that to four there now, just to keep tabs uh, in case you don't like looking at this huge mess of numbers. Um, but we're at a crash duration now, so we're going to cross off activity B. We can't crash activity B anymore because the shortest we can make it is four days. So now this leaves us with two alternatives now. Uh, we're only able to crash activity C or D, but we're just going to crash this as much as possible and then evaluate later what to do with it. Uh, so, again, iteration number three, we need to find which one, C or D, is on the critical path. So let's go C or D. Well, it's obviously D because its total float is zero. So we are going to be, the only one we can crash is D. It would make no sense to crash C because it's not on the critical path. So let's go ahead, let's go find D down here. We're going to save one from D. All right, so then we'll update our durations of everything. So we have two, four, six. We're going to cut one out of there. So now we'll get six. And then we have, lastly, we have three. This guy remains the same. All right, let's change our color again. And let's go through and figure out what's changing for our total floats. So we had activity D. We cut that. We're going to change the color again. So that's down to six. And then six plus six is 12. Now we're looking at here. We're going to bring either a 12 in or a 12. So now we get... This will be 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Bring the 15 down. So there you see it. We've reduced the project duration by one day. So then we'll have 15 minus 3. The late start now becomes 12. And we're going to bring that 12 into each of these positions. Again, sorry, this gets really confusing. It's easier actually if you draw like a, a whole PDM network diagram for iteration 1 and then redraw the whole thing for 2. But I just don't have space for that. So we're going to go ahead and keep going like this. Um, so we have 12 minus 6, uh, well, there you go. 12 minus 6 is 6. And again, remember, we just changed the duration. We didn't change anything about the start of this. Uh, so that's important to notice. Uh, so now we also have, we have 12 minus 6. We're going to change that guy. Uh, so now this one's late start will be 6. Uh, and then looking here for the late finish of this, we could either bring in a 6 or a 6, or we're not going to change anything there. All right, let's reevaluate what we have for all of our total floats. Uh, these guys remain the same, 6 minus 6 is 0, 12 minus 12. This one becomes 0 finally. Now it's part of our critical path. 12 minus 12, that's still 0, and 15 minus 15, that's still 0. So now every activity on this whole network diagram is critical. Uh, so let's go and let's add that in. So now our total float, uh, we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So now you're seeing finally that 1 has finally disappeared from total float for activity uh See, oh, you know what? I totally, I, my mistake. That should be a zero, and that here, I gotta change that. That should, that needs to be a. I didn't catch that. All right, so this was here. Uh, please excuse me. I, I got ahead of myself back there. That total float. Whoa. Um, activity B's total float was always zero, but it was activity C that should be one. Okay. Uh, now, let's looking at this. Uh, what did we do? We cut one day out of D, so the cost to do that for D was $700. So we spent $700 crashing it. We saved $600. Remember, our daily cost was $600 per day. And because we knocked a day off, we got to save that $600. Uh, so now we're back up to the original cost of $18,900. And our duration has been reduced to 15 days. Okay, let's look at this. Run number four. Um, we have still, we're still able to, uh, here we can even put that as a six. Uh, so we are, we're still able to crash activity D and activity C. But you'll notice if we, act, if we only crash one of them at this point, activity C or D, uh, because they're both critical and they're both in parallel to each other, uh, by crashing only one, we wouldn't actually reduce the whole project duration by a day. So we need to crash both of these at the same time because they're both in parallel on the critical path. So we need to knock a day off of both of them. So it's going to be one from C and one from D. All right, so let's write in our durations here. So these guys should mostly stay unchanged. Two, four, we have to subtract one from here because we're saving a day from it. So this will be five and we have to save one from here. Uh, so that will also be five. All right, and then this guy here staying at three. So let's change our color again. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna knock off that, so that will become a 5 for a duration, and that will become a 5. Okay, so 6 plus 5, we get 11. 6 plus 5, we get 11 there as well. Okay, so we're definitely bringing an 11 into here. 
and then 11 plus 3, we're knocking that right down to 14 days. Bring that to the light finish, so we get 14, 14 minus 3, we'll get 11. So we have to bring back that 11 into these positions, and now we're really running out of space. Uh, then we have 11 minus 5, which will give us 6, and 11 minus 5, which will give us 6. Again, that should make sense by now. Okay, so looking at that, our critical path, uh, 0, 0, 11, 0, 11 minus 11, 0, everything zeros. Everything is still critical, so we can go down here just to keep tab tabs on that. Total float, everything is 0. Now, in this case, we spent a little bit more money. We spent $700 plus 400 because we crashed both of these in this one, excuse me, in this one step. So that we spent $1,100 in this step. $1,100, we saved 600 from that, uh, from that, saving that one day of overhead. Uh, and this is going to bring up our total to $19,400. $19,400, and we've reduced the duration of the project to 14 days. All right, uh, and let's go ahead. We can even just record this here. So now we got five and five. All right, well, uh, you can see that, remember how I mentioned that we had these in parallel and if if you were to crash one of them, uh, you wouldn't actually reduce the duration of the project? Well, we've reached the crash duration of D. We can't crash it anymore, but we still can technically crash C if we want. So I'll just show you what happens if we do that, but you'll see pretty fast that there's actually no point in doing it. So activity C, we're going to crash this guy one last time. So activity C, we're going to come over here, boom, right there. All right, durations. So for each activity, we have two, four, four. That's supposed to be a four. Two, four, four. Uh, this guy is five, and this is three. So now they're all at their crash durations. All right, so then the last thing we need to do, uh, let's do this guy in blue, I guess. We're in outer space. So activity C was the one that we're crashing? Yeah. So we're going to knock that one down to four. So we'll have six plus four. This will be 10. And then... We can either bring in a 10 or we could bring in, ooh, I'm getting confused now, 11. So that actually won't change at all. Uh, none of this changes. And then we'd have 4, 11 minus 4. It's late start would actually uh, change to 7 there, I suppose. Um, but you'll see one second, that doesn't actually help us because we didn't actually change this down to 13. So if we go here, total float, um, this guy would actually go back to 1. Uh, which is not helping us at all. So C, total float goes to 1, everything else would stay 0. Uh, and we would have spent, crashing that, we would have spent 400. We would have saved $0 because the duration didn't change, so we're not saving project overhead for any days. Uh, and then we'd have 19400, now we'd have 19800, and we're still at 14 days duration. So as you see, uh, w there was there was actually no help in doing that last in that last iteration there or that last crash. Um, but now it's either, it's pretty much a subjective decision right now of what's the best place, uh, what's the best route to go. It really depends on what the how the question is phrased. It's given to you sometimes. The your teacher might ask you to uh, say like crash this project to reduce its you know crash it three days, reduce the project duration by three days, or um, maybe crash it so you get the cheapest, uh, so we spend the least amount of money. It's really, it's really, it could be phrased a lot of different ways because you'll see actually, for example, if we were looking to crash it the most, the most we could possibly crash it would be 14 days. Uh, and the, the most, the best price to do that at would be $19,400. There'd be obviously no point in spending another $400 to do that. Um, but if your teacher was maybe asking you to, um, uh, save the most amount of money for the project uh, overall, then you would actually see that the cheapest you can do this project for would be eighteen hundred or eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars, uh, and you might as well do it in sixteen days uh, because it's always better to finish early, right? Uh, so, anyways, uh, it really depends on how the pro uh, the question is worded, and just showing you that there's lots of different ways that you can go about uh, solving for the answer. But this, again, it gets messy. Um, but now you know how to crash a project.